Hello kids, welcome back to my channel. Today I am back again with another video on the chapter Traveling Around from your social studies book. The video features all the fill in the blanks which I have tried to cover up. Now let's learn the subtopics in this chapter. We will be learning about roadways, waterways, railways and airways. So my dear kids, let's get started with the video. Number 1. Transportation means moving people or things from one place to another. That means when people or things, they move from one place to another, it is called transportation. Number 2. The first form of transport was the human food. Number 3. A big turning point came in the transport with the invent of wheels and steam engines. Number 4. Recently, Mumbai got its much-awaited flyover the Santa Cruz Chamber Link Road. Number 5. Santa Cruz Chamber Link Road is city's first double decker flyover. Kids, you can see the flyover in this picture is a double decker flyover. Number 6. India's transport system is one of the largest and densest in the world. My dear kids, this is all due to the huge population of India. Number 7. India's road rank second in length next only to the United States. Number 8. The global transport systems can be categorized into three types. Number 1. Landways. Number 2. Waterways and number 3 airways kids in number 9 we have landways which can be further divided into number 1 roadways and number 2 railways number 10 we have kacha roads that is the roads made with dirt and brick pavement and Pakka roads which are made of bitumen and aggregates in our country. Number 11. We have a sea bridge in this picture which is the Bandra Valley Sea Link in Mumbai and it is the longest sea bridge in India. Number 12. That is NH7 which is now known to be NH44 that is National Highway 44 is the longest national highway in India with a total distance of about 3745 km from Varanasi in northern India to Kanyakumari in the south. Number 13. Some roads of a country are connected to the roads of another country and are called international highways. That means when the roads of one country are getting connected to the roads of another country, they are known to be international highways. Number 14. The road which you are seeing in this picture is the Hindustan Tibet Road which connects India with its neighboring country China. Number 15 Grand Trunk Road connects India to its neighboring country Pakistan. Now my dear kids, this Grand Trunk Road was made by a general called Sher Shah Suri in the 15th century. Number 16. 
Railways are important means of land transport. Number 17. The first passenger train in India ran from Bombay to Thane in 1853. Number 18. The Indian railway system is today stands to be the fourth largest in the world. Number 19. Railways provide a cheap and fast means of transport. Number 20. The Kalka Shimla Narrow Gauge Train Road is a World Heritage Site. Number 21. The Chinup Rail Bridge is highest rail bridge in India as well as in the world. Kids, you can see in the picture that it is even higher than the Eiffel Tower. Number 22. The Chinup Rail Bridge is located between Bakkal and Kauri in Kashmir. Number 23. The Trans-Siberian Railways connects Moscow with the Russian Far East and the Sea of Japan. Number 24. The Trans-Siberian Railway is the longest railway line in the world. Number 25. Maglev, that is the magnetic train of Japan, uses magnetic levitation to move trains without touching the grounds and at a speed up to 500 km per hour. Number 26. Eurostar is a high speed that is 300 km per hour is a passenger train running under sea from London to Paris via the English Channel. Number 27. Grand Central Terminal in New York is the largest railway station in the world. My dear children, keep it in mind, it has 44 platforms in it. Number 28. Ships and boats are the means of water transport. Number 29. India has many ports along its long coastline. Kids, all you can see in the picture, the India's coastline stretches from Gujarat along the western coast and up to West Bengal along the eastern coast. Number 30. The ports of Kolkata, Paradeep, Vishakapatnam, Chennai lie on the eastern coast. Number 31. The ports of New Mangalore, Marmagao, Madurai, Jawaharlal Nehru port at Navashiva and Kandla ports are on the western coast. Number 32. Petroleum is carried in special shapes called oil tanker. Kids, as we all know, petroleum is always in its liquid form. So, to carry it from one place to another, we use the oil tanker, especially on the seas. Number 33. Meat, vegetables and fruits are carried in special shapes called refrigerated ships. That means in this type of ships, the special temperature is maintained to keep this perishable goods in better condition. Number 34. Big rivers like the Gangas and the Brahmaputra are used for inland water transport. That is, the rivers are also used for water transport within the country. Number 35. The construction of international waterways, Swage Canal and Panama Canal has reduced the travel time. 
Number 36. Ships traveling between New York and San Francisco save 7,872 miles by using the Panama Canal. That means Panama Canal has helped the ships in saving a lot of distance. Number 37. Panama Canal joins the Atlantic Ocean and the Pacific Ocean. Number 38. Swage Canal connects the Mediterranean Sea with the Red Sea. Number 39. Swage Canal is 1,931 km long and 205 m wide. One can reach England from India in just 15 days through Swage Canal. Previously, one has to travel a long distance of the African continent to reach Europe from India. Number 40. Airways are the fastest means of transport. That is, through aeroplanes, we can travel a long distances at a very short period of time. Number 41. Wright brothers were the two American brothers who are credited with inventing the world's first successful airplane, the Flyer, in 1903. Number 42. The Indira Gandhi International Airport at New Delhi is the busiest airport in India. Number 43. The Chhatrapati Shivaji International Airport at Mumbai and Netaji Shubhash Chandra Bose International Airport at Kolkata are the major airports in India. Number 44. Kerala has 3 out of the 19 international airports in India. That means Kerala has got the credit of three international airports out of the total airports in India. Kids, hope this video will really prove helpful in understanding and preparing the chapter. If you like this video, do hit a like, share and subscribe to my channel for further updates.